Sheesh. So much to talk about today. We're going to talk about UST, Luna, Bitcoin, market psychology, all this stuff that y'all need to hear in this market right now. Let's get it. trying to do leverage trading or if you're trying to make some sort of peg to a dollar and you don't have the gangsters behind you there's a reason why tether survived this long there's a reason why usdc will survive they got the real gangsters behind them blackrock looked at ust and was like it's just dope one get him out of here wait you by yourself hey you know what game exactly he walked down the wrong alley by himself and the gang was like hold up you ain't got nobody with you <laughs> hurt. oh hey. So the first thing I want to talk about is this whole Luna situation. We're going to look at the chart real quick and see what exactly happened. So this is the chart of Luna right here on the hourly chart. And this thing a couple days ago was just at $57. As a matter of fact, let me go to the weekly chart. Boom. Here's a better sign of what's going on with the Luna chart right here. So I know if you're in crypto, you're probably hearing all about this. But man, in the last three days, Luna has gone from like $63 all the way down to $1 because of the mechanism that it is. So people don't really know that Luna is actually to be used to back a stable coin UST and that stable coin started failing and there's a bunch of rumors about why the stable, the stable coin started failing but I have my own theory about why the stable coin started failing and we'll talk about if there is a higher conspiracy going on here because I definitely think there's probably something going on behind the scenes right now so first things first welcome to the show everybody this is everything currency i want to talk to you guys about some crazy stuff going on in the markets the first thing i want to go over is this bitcoin chart and do some analysis on bitcoin because we haven't talked about it in a while but it broke over some levels that we were watching since um, broke down below some levels that we've been watching since earlier in this week so we had these levels on the chart i have this this level here this level here and i said look if we break below this white level i put this green line down here on the chart and said we are coming down to 27k pretty damn fast and that was pretty damn fast like that was like a couple weeks like i was sick and then the weekend hit and all of a sudden we're at 27k this is crazy price action right here um, and since all of this stuff is broken down, what I'm going to do is just clear this chart off and then we will start from scratch right now in this video. So the first thing I want to do is put a little bit of a line right here because that's where you can see we stopped at so far. And then the next level that I'm looking at is there's not much support on this chart. Um, there's a little bit right here in this area and there's a little bit right here in this area. So basically 19 um, K is where um, things can get really dumpy to complete like some pattern right here. Bouncing at 28 K is actually the best thing that we can see happening right now. But for me, I was thinking maybe around 27 K was that level. Um, 24 K is looking really enticing right now. But if I bring that up, I could say 25 K, but I won't. I'm going to say 24 K. Um, might be a, a level for us to watch right now I'm thinking Bitcoin might go sideways for a little bit now what's interesting about this whole Terra Luna thing and then how it ties into Bitcoin is this so the UST stablecoin is backed by the Luna it was backed by the Luna token and the creator of it do Kwan, said you know what we got all this money how about we back this thing by bitcoin and make it more solidified so he started buying up all of this bitcoin now the fed and the gov or whoever whoever's behind all that crap is like yo we need these markets tanking right now so they've been you know doing their quantitative tightening tightening they've been selling assets off they've been doing all this crazy stuff and bitcoin was just moving sideways throughout this time while the s p was failing and that was um because you had this buyer doquan buying up all of this bitcoin to back his stable coin so in order to get him to sell that Bitcoin, the only way they could do that is to depeg that stablecoin so that it could so that, you know, you would have to liquidate the Bitcoin in order to keep the peg to the stablecoin, which is what happened. And we've seen a nice sell off in Bitcoin for um, 
those reasons what kickstarted a, a nice sell-off for bitcoin now this is this is not the conspiracy part that i'm thinking about i'm just saying this is the mechanism of how it all worked you know like they had that that money to back that stable coin and they had to sell the, that collateral in order to keep that stable coin backed. Now, this is what we're seeing with Luna because Luna needed to be sold in order to get UST as close to a dollar as it could. That's how the mechanism works. Now, in my opinion, Algo stable coins is super experimental. Everything in crypto is super experimental. So I didn't touch them. Any of these dollars that were like experimental dollars, I said, let me just see how that works out and see how that plays out for you guys like Ample for and you know some of these algorithmic stable coins like I didn't touch them and um, I'm glad I didn't because right now I think um, the Terra stable coin right now is still at 78 cents so um, there's a lot of people who lost their life savings in this there's a lot of people who were providing collateral with the UST stable coin and they were borrowing against it thinking that it was never going to drop below 80 cents and here it is right now at you know 37 cents it's actually gotten down to 29 cents about 11 hours ago so if you believe that this thing go back up to a dollar there might be an opportunity there but first you gotta look at this chart right here and see that this whole thing is in shambles and is this going to restore people's confidence people were calling it a ponzi scheme because they were offering 20 percent apy on anchor earn and things like that so people were calling it a ponzi scheme obviously we know um it's probably not a ponzi scheme it's just this mechanism actually failed so well i don't know what this is going to do in the future but i'll tell you what this morning some interesting things were happening on this chart and i want to talk to you guys about it so this morning i woke up and i saw luna down here at 70 cents and i said what the hell this is crazy it was just 30 dollars yesterday and then it was at 70 cents and then it started to pump right here and me and my boy were on the phone we we're talking about this whole thing that was going on and we saw that it was starting to pump so i went ahead and bought some right around uh 235 and then that thing spiked to about six dollars you know over six dollars it went to about seven dollars depending on what exchange you were on and just had a blow off top had a nice little pump and then a blow off top up to seven dollars and then came back down really really fast so what happened was i was able to buy at like two something and i sold up here um, watched it go to seven sold it at five and then it came all the way down and then around 250 I'm like this thing is dying and then I shorted it until right now I'm still in a short in Luna and I think I'm gonna probably get around or get out around 90 cents so very interesting things going on in this market right now um, who knows what could happen to Luna but for sure this situation with Luna brought the whole market down because you know bitcoin brings the whole market down they had to sell off a whole bitcoin now also i think like in all honesty looking at this bitcoin chart we see that all coins are in shambles today uh, i mean looking at this total two chart we see that all coins are in shambles today and i think this would have happened regardless i was just waiting for it now in crypto there is this thing called extreme volatility which i haven't seen in a very long time which are these double digit red days and then these double digit green days so now seeing that hey the market is losing a lot of the market cap and some of this high volatility is um, coming back it's very interesting to see that we're finally having some some days where we get these double digit numbers so we'll see what those recovery days look like as far as trading is concerned now as far as buying and holding if you decided to hodl this is what you decided to hodl through this is why i've been saying on this channel the whole time learn how to trade learn how to move money around if you do have long-term bags which i do have long-term bags but it's just bitcoin and ethereum and i don't even look at it because i don't want to see what level it's at and i just add a little bit to it that i told myself i'll look at in five years when i'm looking at all my other stuff i got to pay attention to what's going on in these charts because losing you know all this money in a week is pretty damn bad now as far as something like luna if you were long-term invested in luna like who knew that this could have happened now it's like you we kind of lost faith i lost faith in this system knowing that hey somebody who comes around with a billion dollars worth of uh liquidity can go ahead and try to destroy this thing and they will be successful that's not something that we want in a in a cryptocurrency or in any any platform 
that we're on and this is why um we definitely want to make sure and do research into the projects that we're throwing our money into i've seen people talking about they lost their life savings and stuff like that and i'm like why do you have your life savings in an experimental stable coin don't even say <laughs> What you do with your money is your responsibility. You lose a lot of money. That's your fault. You make a lot of money. That is also your fault. Um, let me know what you guys think about the video. How do you guys feel about the markets right now? Oh, one other thing before I get out of here that I want to talk about is Tether is also down. Why are we seeing Tether also down? And then UST is also down. The US hates stable coins. The governments hate stable coins. They want to create their own CBDCs. Stable coins compete directly with the the currency that gives them power. So um, that's just something to also think about. And also um, there's something like this, like BlackRock and Fidelity have a $400 million investment in stable coin competitor to um, UST also very interesting things we are seeing the market right now is in extreme fear as they should be because we are getting ate up as far as some of these cryptos are concerned so this chart is the last thing that i wanted to talk about today the psychology of the market chart and just kind of compare it to bitcoin on the weekly real quick we look at this thing on the weekly and then what do we see here um we're seeing we had this right here it was a double top didn't play out how i thought it would play out but hey it was a double top came down now we are in somewhere headed into this level right here if we look at this bitcoin chart we're coming down and getting ready to kind of go sideways into this level now i will tell you that holding the 200 week moving average is very important that's why i have the 200 ema right here which is sitting around 27 and i have the 200 ma which is sitting around 21 um let me make sure that's right yeah the 200 ema is around 27 and the 200 ma is around 21 so things get real ugly we can go down a couple of more thousand dollars in the next couple of days let's just hope that we hold at least 25k that's what we want to see we don't want to see us going back down into the teens um for bitcoin that will be of course you know how that will be so like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed go ahead and check out the realist club my last video let me know if there's any projects that you are watching right now let me know if there's any videos that you guys want me to make i got a video on how to short coming soon till next time r.i.p to crypto roots peace